I am Matthew Evan Payne, and I am here with the lovely Cassie DePaiva, who played Eve Larson on Days of Our Lives. Congratulations on your new gig, my man. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be part of the Days family. Oh, so, uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I'm here to represent Days, and it's it's an honor for me. And you look lovely. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Who are you wearing? It's Sachin and Babby, uh, and I'm wearing Jude Francis jewelry. Stunning. Stunning. And uh, um, I've got underwear on and shoes. And that's I do it. too. <laughs> oh my God. The boys from Dish and Days were supposed to come dress shopping with you, and that never we, worked out. What we happened? We were gonna do that. Um, I started to panic, and then my nieces have a store down in Tampa, Florida called Juxtapose. Okay. And they hooked me up with this designer and this um, jewelry. So, if you're down in um, St. Pete's, Tampa area, there's two stores, Juxtapose, check them out. Make sure to check them out. That's right, there's my commercial. Now, Eve went through a lot this year with the loss of her daughter. After watching you for years and years on One Life to Live, how did you find it as an actor to find another layer and go so deep emotionally into that roller coaster of, of losing a child? Well, I feel like I rolled all of my 18, 19 years of Chelsea into a real powerful three-week arc for Eve. Eve is by far more broken than Blair. So, you just had to just dig deep and go there and you know you can't phone in grief and I wanted to it was really beautiful material and I really wanted to honor the writers so I just went there and did, I got lucky did it come from a personal experience or was that just thank God no but you know what you you can't help it I always think what if and if something like that were to happen if you know if you had a child that died hating you you never get over that you never recover especially after things that you have done to to change the um, arc of their life Tell it makes me like choke up makes me choke wearing up. black for for Eve and her darkness did you well you look fabulous so we have a nomination tonight. We got one. We got one. My second, actually. It's very exciting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, tell me about the moment you found out that you were nominated. Well, I was, um, I called my mom and dad to tell them to watch the talk. I said, I emailed them. I said, you might want to watch the talk. You might hear my name called or not. And I told them it's at 1 o'clock because they're in Kentucky. So I called her and said, are you watching? She goes, well, it's already past one o'clock in New York I said mom it's your time so she goes oh, oh she goes she turned it on just as they were calling my name so I was so thrilled that they mom's the one that told me because they aired earlier in back in Kentucky how exciting so she told me. Uh, was it more exciting the first or second time nominated yes it never gets old. No, I can't imagine it would. No, you know what? Because you work really hard, and it's nice to be acknowledged. Okay, you Does that change anything? Not really. No. But it feels it's a personal. Um, it's a, a personal achievement. Right. And you look at all these fabulous people working their asses off. Yes. Um, Everybody said it's the same There's got to be a, a winner and a loser. And so I'm glad that I'm part of the winning team right now. I hope so. Best of luck to you tonight. I hope to see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Cassie. Bye bye.